Hi guys, in previous video we learned about how to create the links for navigation and in this video we're going to learn about how to use the styles. Okay, so let's begin. So we have created our navigation and we can style it here. So what we can do is we can come over here and we can say style and then pass JSX inside of that. So this is CSN, CSS and JS. And then we can just do a closing tag like this, and then we can do a curly braces and then back ticks. And inside of this, we can write our own styles. So if I want to go ahead and style home, I can just say home class, and then just say color is blue. And let's see if that gets applied. Come over here. You can see it's applied. So let's style it over here, and then we can add the styles up and there. Okay. So this is my container, and this is the a tag. So for a tag, we can see text decoration, decoration none, and we can say padding. Let's say 10 pixels, 20 pixels, display inline block. And then we can say background, we can say what black color, we can say white. Okay. I, all right. And we can just copy this and paste it here. Instead of doing it on home, you can do it on the link also. So I can just say a tag over here. So what would actually happen is that this style will get applied only for this component. It won't go outside of it. That's the best part. So you can see it's been applied to this. I think uh, black doesn't look good. We can keep it white, but we can give some border. So we can say border, one pixel, solid. And we can say gray. I don't know the spelling of gray. Start with this. Okay, and color, let it be. Five, five, five. Yeah, it looks better. And we can say margin, right? Let's say ten pixels. You can see it's working. Great, awesome. And then what we can do is to this particular div. Sorry. Uh, so you've got the styling with CSS and JS. Okay. So what if you want to go ahead and create your own style sheet, then how do you do that? Okay, so to go ahead and use your own style, what you can do is you can install a package which will be called Next CSS. So let's go ahead and do that. Say npm install zeet next CSS. Okay. And for this to work, what we'll have to do is we're going to go ahead and use a we're going to go ahead and create the config file for the next JS. So next.config.js. Okay, and inside of this, we can just say const with CSS and then just do a require. Okay, and then module.exports is equal to with CSS. That's all you have to do. Okay, and if you go on to the next CSS npm package, what you will see is that how to implement the next CSS in your project. Okay, so you can see this exactly what, what they're doing. They're just in, inside of the next uh, config.js, you just require this and do model.export. Okay, and then you can simply use your styles, style files basically. So let's say I go ahead and create a style directory and we say it's style and we create a style sheet called style.css okay now inside of this we can just say body background color and just give it any color and and we're going to import this inside of let's say layout i'm going to say import so we have to go outside of this directory and then look for 
styles and then style.css and let's see if that works. We may have to restart our server and that could be a possible reason because we added some configuration in the next config.js that's the reason it may not be picking it up. So it's compiling now let's have a look. Awesome this is working guys great okay so this works it's great. So this is how you're going to add your styles. I'm not going to get into adding style and making it more beautiful. This is just a demo project just to tell you how things work, how you're going to get things going. Okay, so this is how your CSS works. In case if you want SAS, then what happens? So for SAS, we have another package. I think that name is next SAS, if I'm not wrong. Yep, that's the one. So, if you so to use SAS, what you need to do is you need to install zip next sas so npm install and also the node sas okay and as you can see it says that the style sheet is compiled compiled into static and then slash css next years will automatically add the css file to the html if you put that to that okay so let's have a look now we need to also add this to our configuration file we already have the uh, with CSS available here. So if you want to use SAS as well, we can say with SAS and then require it. We add Z next SAS and then we just need to wrap the with SAS inside of our with CSS. Okay, like this. And then inside of my static directory. So I create a static directory. This needs to be named exactly how it is. Okay, and then inside of the CSS, so what was the name? So what you can do is you can create a directory called SAS, and inside of this you can create a file called home.scss and we can say body and then color, let's say brown, and then let's go to layout and just import it okay so import outside styles and then sas and then st and we have home dot scss let's have a look and we started the server yep server is started you can see now the color has changed awesome so sas works css works okay and if you want to use the CSS and JS is already provides you out of the box. All right, guys. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, uh, please give a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel, and uh, I will see you in the next video where we will learn how to go ahead and create the uh, head tag and add our uh, meta tags, etc., inside of the head. Okay. See you then. Bye bye.